you see a lot of videos which are saying the configuration of the magnets or the way how you go about, you know, you know, there's some way of going about doing this. And so you'll see a lot of videos where you have a motor spinning and they'll have like their finger and they're using that to go ahead and, and uh, uh, lift up one magnet on one side to keep the same spinning. And they're like, oh, if we could just build a contraption which will automatically lift this arm up to go ahead and keep this, uh, this rotor spinning, then we will have solved the problem. The issue with that is, is the energy that's powering that motor is not the magnets, it's your finger that's uh, actually pushing on this rod that, that raises up the one part. Which is where you have, uh, typically they use like a skateboard wheel and it'll have a series of magnets going around it, wrapped around the skateboard wheel like a magnet. And they'll hold a bar magnet and the bar magnet they'll hold close to it which is repelling and it pushes the wheel around and then they lift their fingers up near the what they call the hump and then they put it back down and it keeps on spinning so you see them doing this while the motor's running and it spins and spins well the energy that they're doing is not coming from the magnets it's coming actually from their hand doing this simple motion uh, it's a hand-powered motor uh, and uh, then you have, uh, you know, and these people are genuinely trying to experiment. Uh, they, they really, you know, they're looking for solutions to the energy problem. And for that, I absolutely commend them. And the best way to learn about these things is through experimentation. And so they think that they have something really close. The only thing that uh, is at issue is there's never a follow-up to it. Uh, there's never a finished, completed working motor afterwards. And the reason why is, is that they always find out that it is their hands that are doing the action. And it's, it's very easy to make a video about something that looks like it's about to work. It's much more difficult to go ahead and make a video about the failure of it. And uh, so if they had figured it out, they would have come out and they would have, they would have had something on it. And, uh, you know, I wish they could, because if we did have magnet motors, that would mean that we have free energy. Uh, then you have people that are claiming to have working devices and unfortunately this is the poison uh, because a lot of people do want to believe and these people do sound very genuine you know it's uh, you have someone coming on and saying look I built this thing it works and you know this can solve our energy problem and here it is and it's spinning you know it's like this is this magnificent thing and the problem with that is, is that that violates uh, all the laws of the physical sciences that we have up to this point. And, uh, you know, even after tens of thousands of experiments done over the centuries by the most brilliant minds in our history, trying to disprove these conservation laws, we have never managed to uh, invalidate them. We've only managed to further validate them. So I have a bit of a hard time believing that some guy with you know, a bucket of refrigerator magnets and some duct tape is going to be capable of going ahead and bringing down uh, all the science we know and causing the largest paradigm shift in our thinking to date. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not possible. It just means it's extremely unlikely. Uh, you know, and somebody that would actually be capable of producing one of these motors uh, uh, because it would be such a big deal to science today would likely be regarded as being... Uh, 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 smarter than Einstein. Uh, you would uh, uh, be guaranteed a Nobel Prize for being able to accomplish such a task. It would be a very, very, very big deal. Uh, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't make attempts at doing it because this is how we learn. You know, we learn most from uh, the failures that we have sometimes. And who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. I, I probably wouldn't put too much money on that, but uh, 